Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel, Major Girl Poppin' T News. So I want to share this, guys, because um, a lady on TikTok, she um, she basically saying people are using state check stubs to get approved. Now it is hard to get an apartment nowadays. And it is. Don't get me wrong. It's so hard to get an apartment nowadays. It is. And when I say it is because you have to show proof of income. You got to show your check stub. Then your check stub got to be, um, be right. You got to make sure that you're making um, more on your check stub when you apply for an apartment because I remember a long time ago when I was working at the time and I showed the people that were on my checks that uh, I was trying to get an apartment. That's when I sat in Atlanta at the time. And I was making ten dollars an hour and they said I wasn't making enough. And I stayed in the hotel for three years. Okay? Three years. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? It was hard for me and you know what I'm saying to get an apartment at, at that time then. But now I'm in an apartment now and I've been staying in this apartment for three years and I have proof of income. I had two proof of income and plus my uh, my apartment is seven hundred a month, but the apartment that I was gonna get long time ago, two three years ago, and you know, when I was staying in Atlanta, it was um nine hundred almost a thousand, and so I didn't get approved for that one. So um I end up. You know, I'm saying going back to square one, I had to stay in the hotel for a little bit. And after that, um, when I was working at the time, I was working and I was getting my unemployment because I was working at this job from um, called Osco's. I was staying in Doorsville, Georgia at the time. And I had lost my job of uh, the pandemic and you know what I'm saying and then after that once that had happened I ended up moving where I'm at now and so once I got that I had to move down here when I had my unemployment and then plus um, my daughter me and my daughter's income had went up so that's how I ended up getting in this apartment, and I had to pay eleven, um, eleven hundred to get in here because I had to pay three fifty deposit, and I also had, um, and I also had to pay the seven hundred dollars to get in this apartment. So that's where I'm at now. So I finally got my apartment. It took me three years to get an apartment because certain apartments they will look at your income and they also gonna tell you you gotta make this certain amount you gotta make three times the rent and all that stuff and it's not easy to get an apartment it took me a minute so anyway back to this subject that I'm about to tell y'all guys about this so the lady said that People are using fake check stubs. You cannot use fake check stubs. I don't know why people doing that. You will get caught from that, and you will get in trouble for that. You get what I'm saying? So you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to criminate yourself for doing that. So anyway, it's this TikToker. I guess that she is um, a property manager or something like that. And you know, people been doing that for years. Um doing 
fake check stuff and all that stuff to get in the house, get an apartment stuff. They gonna find out, okay? So don't think that they ain't gonna find out. They gonna find out, you know what I'm saying, that you not gonna be able to pay your rent and this and that the third. So don't try that, okay? Because you will get caught from that. So anyway, she said this. Just be very careful. Property manager issues PSA to renters using fake pay stubs when apartment hunting, okay? This also, she said, it shouldn't be this hard to get a home. This post that had um, came out on January the 9th of this year. We, um, today is Sunday the 15th of this year. But I want to share this article with y'all. Then it said, a property manager with six years of experience in this business is warning TikTokers against creating fake pay stubs to get approved for a new apartment, okay? Then she also had said this, while many TikTokers have posted about searching luxury apartments by using fake pay stubs or even if, um, Explaining how to create the fake stuff the property manager says it's not worth the risk. Then she posted, she said her own video saying that property managers like her can spot a fake check stub or a bank statement installed. Okay, that's what she said. As property managers, we we know when it's fake. Nasha says in the video, we're not dumb and we can't spot it with two seconds. Then she says, sometimes, though, properties manager will approve applications who use fake pay stubs or bank statement. Yeah, that is true. They, Some people do get by way with it. Some people don't get um, making it easy of, of doing that, okay? Then she says, um, Natalie says that, that's a pretty name, Natalie, says that if any apartment property um, numbers are low, they may take a step the application just to make money. That is true, because people do make money and it's just low or whatever. Then she says, however, some applications will get automatically denied if they're Fake documents are too ambitious, she says. The TikTok shares how many applications use the same template, which is a dead giveaway. Then she says, so maybe switch it up and get creative. Lana says, just be very careful and pay attention to all of the information that you're changing, she said. The TikToker noticed that all of the the totals on fake documents need to match up and every transition needs to be equal to right amount. Some people who create fake pay stubs or banks or bank documents don't do their math correctly. Or even forget to do it, she says. Natalie wants that the property managers do actually check the totals on those documents to make sure everything looks even, she says. And Natalie, last job, she says the company um, began using a software called Snapped that alert the property manager if an application documents had been awaited in any way she advised applications to be aware of any properties that says that using the software because they use automatically flags their application the TikToker added that if applications get caught frogging documents they're screwed 
Property managers may not call the police, but they are likely to call their sister properties to warn them of application with fake documents, she said. Okay. Before the TikToker turned comments off on her video, several users thank her for the tip, but most call out the fact that the tenants need to go as far as faking documents in order to get a place to stay. Some pointed out how encouraged it was for landlords to ask tenants to earn three times the rent. Period. Exactly. As one concern to put it, it shouldn't be this hard to get a home. Okay. And that's what she said. And it is hard to get in apartment nowadays it's not easy it's really not easy okay to get an apartment and i get it and i understand that and some people have to stay in the hotel some people have to stay with their relatives because now these apartments going up these houses going up i stay in the house that i like it and it's a two bedroom and it's a one bath and it's one thousand dollars okay rent going up rent is going up rent is going up it's not cheap and you know what I'm saying? And I'm blessed that I don't have to stay with no family relative or anything like that. I'm blessed that I have my own spot. And you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because I know sometimes people don't want to stay with their family relatives. Sometimes people can't get along with their family members and stuff like that. And I, I understand it and I get that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm blessed that that I'm paying cheap rent. I'm blessed that I have a roof over my head for me and my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you have to do what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might have to move a little farther out if you want cheap rent. But the reason why I move out from Atlanta because I want a new atmosphere. I've been staying in Atlanta all my life. Sometimes you want to switch up and change. Change your life around. Get away from all the BS. You know what I'm saying? That you went through with your family, your your um your friends or whoever you you used to deal with, you know what I'm saying, just get away from that toxic, you know what I'm saying, just be you, just be you, focus on you and your child and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, sometimes you're going to want to get away from toxic people and get away from drama, you don't want to be around that, you know what I'm saying, just have a fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Just fresh air. You know? You know, fresh. You know? But I hope y'all like this video that I posted. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to y'all guys later.